Hi everyone, let's understand how we can calculate quartile as well as interquartile range. This is my data. These are the some figures that I had collected, I have taken. Here is, we would like to calculate quartile one. So simply what we have to do, Q1. You will write Q1 and here is, you want to calculate Q3 also. And as well as you want to calculate IQR, interquartile range. So what we will do, simply we will go there, write a equal sign. After this, you will write quartile. And moment you will write quartile, that is the first quartile function is here. You will click here. Here is, you're going to select array and you can see this is our array. And I'm, I will select this array. I have selected and after that, which quartile you want, simply press comma and you can see here, first quartile, median value and third quartile. I want first quartile. So what I will do, I will write one and close the parenthesis and enter. Now you can see quartile one value is 37. Same thing we are going to apply here, quartile three, and here is, again, we will write quartile. Here is quartile. And we will select all the values, all array, again. And here is put the comma. And this is third quartile. Third quartile, here is, we will write three. For third quartile, we will write three. Press parenthesis and please enter. So third quartile is 45. Now I am going to calculate IQR means interquartile range. I will write here is equal sign. I would select this quartile 3 then press minus and quartile 1 select and please enter. So interquartile range is 8. So I hope this is clear how we can calculate interquartile range, quartile 1 and quartile 3. This, these are our results. And uh, you can calculate further various other things also. You can calculate range also. You can calculate uh, upper limit, lower limit also. So I'm sure I would like to show you all those things in my next video. So stay tuned. Keep watching.